Hi everyone and uh, welcome back to uh, another video. Um, today's a, a review uh, of this Omnifixo. Um, as you can see from the box it says Maker's Third Hand. Now um, I've had a lot of kind of third hand uh, supports uh, over the years for kind of holding small pieces so you know it, they're, they're the, the common thing you see where they've kind of like got two two ounce of crocodile clips on the end and you can kind of position them a little bit and hold things um, but they often have two problems one crocodile clips um, so they don't come they, they come to a point rather than being kind of flat uh, which makes holding very small things um, difficult um, and they can also damage very small things um, and as you've noticed possibly if you have uh, a watch have watched other videos on this channel I often end up working with very small things so you know kind of um, soldering kind of you know resistors to things like this where they're, they're tiny little tiny little things um, and um, you know the, the 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 crocodile clip based ones are just not great and the arms you can move them you can position them but they often don't quite stay where you put them um, and yeah so often I've ended up doing just kind of taking bits of scrap packaging wood um, like this and taping things to it um, to hold while I paint or solder or, or whatever um, and it works but it's not it's not ideal um, so when I saw an, um, a kind of advert review of this um, I went and bought one um, at the time they were still a pre-order they weren't generally available but um, I decided it was worth putting down the money at the time so that I could make sure I got one um, obviously not not a cheap thing um, some of the third hands I've picked up before have been you know like 10 or 10 pounds or so and, and definitely you know what you pay for a tool is often you know how good it is um, so cheap tools not always the the best um, but I've used this a little since I got it not a huge amount but I thought I'd do a kind of so I put it back in the box I thought I'd do a a kind of unboxing show you what it is show you why I think it's uh, clever and, and, and special so um, if you take it out of the box what you get is essentially this plate uh, and these four four parts um, there is a there is a slightly smaller version that's a square instead of rectangular plate uh, but it only comes with two two arms uh, and I wanted the the, the slightly larger version for a number of reasons as we will get to in a minute so yeah so what we've got is we've got um, the base plate uh, and then these four four grippers and you can have a look at these in more detail quite close up so there's a number of things what you've got essentially is the base um, is magnetic magnetic um, so this holds in here and there's a it's a, essentially a ball joint and because it's a strong magnet this thing stays exactly where you put it there's no kind of springing back um, as you push it around uh, obviously the base is magnetic um, so you can put these things in pretty much any orientation you want uh, and put two of them wherever you want and they're not going to move they're really quite you know, quite nice and sturdy um, but there's a number of other nice nice features going on here so one um, is that the arms are completely parallel uh, there's none of this crocodile clip um, tiny pincery grip at the end these are parallel they've got they come with these kind of uh, rubber sleeves on um, they're apparently heat resistant so you can solder and stuff with these on and they give a nice um, a nice grip without damaging the parts um, they can be easily removed uh, which has a there's a reason for why you might want to do that uh, which we'll come to uh, later but yeah, so um, these are these are really 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 nice. Um, you can affix the thing the other way up as well if you want to. So um, that means you then get one that's down low if you need one kind of close to the ground for some reason. Um, so that's nice. <coughs> um, yeah. Um, so that's good. And as as I said, the the instructions show that they you know there are all sorts of different ways of kind of. Um, oh, helps I'll put the right way up for you. Uh, of positioning these things. So, you know, right way up, upside down. Um, you can stack the bases on top of each other for extra height. Um, you can bend them all the way over, um, and they sit the feet like this. It means you get a nice ninety degree curve with the base plate. So you can see that kind of here. Um, so that's that's nice and secure and again doesn't wobble um, stays nice and stable um, 
so all sorts of all sorts of weird and wonderful things there um <clears throat> yeah and you can see we we can you know we can hold we can hold nice small things nice and easily i can put him where i want him uh, and you can imagine then easily painting uh, a figure like this um with him being held nicely in place um <clears throat> so yeah so just you know just from that i think this is great i mean the the, the position ability um, the different ways you can stack these things to get um, to get pieces where you need them um, is just is just brilliant, um, and it all packs away in such a nice tiny box. Um, I think it's really really good. So I think this is going to be a bit of a bit of a game changer really in the kind of third hands. Um, I think it's much much better than any of the kind of crocodile clip two arm you know solutions we've seen before. Um, the, the the parallel parallel uh, vice part uh the jaws um is is much better than anything i've seen before and as i say the entire range of movement without it slopping around is just fantastic um <clears throat> the base plate does hide one other feature um <clears throat> which is from these two pieces here so essentially the plate um is obviously coated which means it's uh, it's a steel plate but it's insulated these two pieces um, through the insulation uh, which means that um, essentially you can use the base plate to as a part of an electrical circuit and the way that works is if you if you put one of these base units you can see the ball joint side is ever so slightly raised above the plastic case so if you put that down it will actually you can feel it it locks into the circle um, and then you can put the ball joint on top or you can put it um, the other way up if you want either way but the point being that um, if once you've done that um, and I can show you I've got my my meter here if we can see the I'm just going to do resistance um, so you can see at the moment um, no conductivity if I press the two probes um, no resistance um, so if I press onto this plate here and then press onto this arm. Oops. You can see oh, it's a bit funny the first time sometimes for some reason I found my meter. Um you can see there is there's, there's a bit of resistance, about 100, 100 ohms, something like that. Oh it comes coming down in fact. Um yeah, there you go. Not quite sure why it's so low, but pretty much no resistance. So that the, the circuit is complete um between those two points. It's probably just dirty pro contacts on my uh, on my pro. Um <clears throat> So what it means, of course, is that you can um, you can apply power to these things. One of these, maybe, through you, you know you can wipe, put a wire onto the circuit here, wire here. Um, you can take off the the grips, uh, and literally you could imagine um, you know an LED attached between these two pieces, power in, what well, are ground even, and power in, uh, and have it complete the circuit. Um, so far. For testing small parts when you've got them held in the air, that's just one of those weird little additional additional features. Um, I'm not sure how often I'm going to use that, but I'm sure it would be. It's one of those things, if you need it, it's going to be really, really useful. Um, I'm not sure how often I'm going to need it, but it's there if you, if you want it. Um, but yeah, in general, as I say, from the small amount of use this has had um, so far, um, I think it's fantastic. Um, I'd say no no relationship with the supplier just happy uh, happy user um, and would happily happily recommend it as I say this one was um, was reasonably expensive um, I'm not going to put a price in the video because obviously it will change by the time anybody watches um, or, or exchange rates and things so you'll, you can go have a look but as I say um, it's not it's not ridiculously expensive it was, I thought it was very reasonable let's just say that um, and as I say, if you if you don't think you need quite much space or you don't need the electrical connection, then there's a square version. Um, I, I don't know if it's exactly how big. I think it's kind of that square uh, that has two um, has two adapters, um, two hands. Sorry, which for most people is probably is probably plenty. I decided I'd go um, for the um, the the kind of future proofing and get the uh, the full version with the four hands and the electricity. Uh, points so yeah you can also stack these things uh, if you if you need to and again all sorts of weird and wonderful angles you can stack uh, against um, yeah as I say very happy with it as a purchase 
happy to recommend it. Um, I think it's I think it's really really good. And as I say, I'll put a, a link to it in the description. Obviously, as I say, it's the Omni Fixer, and, and mine is the uh, what's my model? It's the uh, OF M42, and as I say, it's the the slightly larger base plate. Um, so yeah. Definitely worth it if you've ever struggled to find a decent third-hand um, tool in the past. I think this will this will solve all your problems.